Hey everybody, how are you doing today? POA here, and we're going to have the pleasure of opening probably my favorite box to open, Modern Horizons 1. Um, we've got six patrons, and each of them are going to get six packs out of this box, and we're going to see how everybody does in a good old-fashioned box break. Let's pop it. The seal has been broken. No going back now, folks. That's that. Ah, I love this set so much. All right, I'm going to take the packs out, and I'm going to try to shuffle 36 packs, which may not go that great. Give me a second here. Oh, oops, yep, already, already doing a terrible job. What a shock. Don't know why I expect anything else. Okay. All right. All right, we're done. Okay, Jason. Six packs. Nathan. Six packs. Wildcat. Six packs. If you're not familiar, go check out Wildcat MTG's channel. Appreciate it. Damien. He is not taking part in this, so I do that. So I'm doing that anyway. Six packs. Buck. And you know he likes to. <clears throat> six packs. And Enrique. Six packs. Yep, six packs. Perfect. Okay. Um, you know, we're just going to do like three for each person, kind of go through, something like that. It's not a battle, so. There we go. First pack. Oh, hey! Wait a minute. Yeah, sweet! Upside down. <laughs> okay, we got Grave Shifter, Shards, and Sunbaked Canyon, Jason, to start us off with the best of the Horizon, or most expensive anyway, of the Horizon Lands. Mountain, okay. In fact, days where POA remember to bring sleeves, one. Okay, pack number two, Jason. Commons, 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 good fortune unicorn, giant, and collected conjuring. Oh, and a foil magmatic sinkhole. Not bad for a common. I, you know, I haven't even looked at what the foil uh, ephemerate goes for. Probably goes for a decent amount. Okay, Guardian and Pashalik Mons, the leader of the Mons Goblin Rick, and another foil, Ninja of the New Moon. That was actually pretty cool. All right. So you got yourself a couple foil commons in a set where that actually matters. So, that's the start. All right, Nathan, your first three packs. We're just going to go right to the uncommons. Screech, Changeling, Watcher for Tomorrow. In our first Mythic, we got the Mox Tantalite. Oh, and a foil silent clearing. Oh, man, and a Horizon Land foil. In a set where that really does matter. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Sorry, Mox Tantalite. You were showing up on that one. Okay. Next pack. Next pack. Okay. Got shreds of packs everywhere. Crypt Rats. Oop. Lenore Tribe, Tree Folk, and, and a, a version that you can play with. So you got yourself a Silent Clearing, number three for the box in total. And then you got your Snow Covered Mountain. All right, next pack. Not bad. So, so far, besides the foil ones, we do have two Horizon Lands down. Talisman of Conviction, very nice. Good step, and the Force of Rage for, okay, for our first uh, of the forces. Not the one we're looking for, but, you know, 
you're not always going to get them. So we're going to put that silent clearing back on top. Okay, Wildcat, okay. your next one. First one. Your first pack, not your, not your next pack. This is number one. What am I doing? Too excited. I'm too, I'm too. I like this set too much. I like opening this product too much. All of that stuff. Too much. You know what? I'm gonna straighten the piles for a second. Okay. Sorry, folks. Kind of tight here. I I think I should have put my camera up higher, but that's all right. Soul Herder and Plane Bound Accomplice, which is now no longer bargain bin. Not that it's high dollar total, but. It found homes. Crazy. Okay, pack number two. Matron and the Spiteful Sliver. Okay. And pack number three. Lava Dart. Chiller Pillar, <laughs> Arkham's Astrolabe, which sounds really dirty. All right, we got the Urza's Rage, Spice Your Skill, and the Nether Spirit. Okay. Fortunately, Wildcat, not particularly good start here, but still got three more packs. All right, Damien, you're up. And Love Belly Sliver and Genesis for your first rare. Nothing in the foil slot. Pack number two. All right, so we got Talisman of Resistance and Urza. There we go. That's what we're talking about. We got Lord Urza, Lord High Artificer. They're our second mythic of the box. Yes! Alright. Okay, third pack, Damien. Got. Yogmoth, Thran Physician. Okay. 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 There you go. We're going to move on from you now. We got Buck. There we go. First pack, Buck. By the way, we have four Mythics down. Um, I don't think I've ever had a box where you don't get four. You can get five. So keep that in mind. Hogak, the he who shall not be named, but I just named him. Okay. All right, come on, Pat. There we go. All right, yeah, pillage and force of despair. Well, that's two forces down. Can we have a five force box? Or can we just skip the, the white one and just get the green and the blue one from here? Conviction, and there we go. Mythic number four, Sword of Truth and Justice. Oh, that is spectacular. I'm running out of sleeves. Okay, is that it? That was it. Okay, Buck, there was your first three. All right, Enrique, in the caboose. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Chiller pillar. And the fiery islet for Horizon Land, number three of the box, not counting the foil one. Hey, a Lancer sliver foil, all right. Wonder if we can go uh, and get all five Horizon Lands. That'd be cool. Yep, definitely running out of sleeves. There we go. I didn't bring enough. 
All right, Enrique, pack number two. Reap the past. And then we're going to get into pack number three. This is a pretty good mythic box, and if we can get one more mythic, it'll be a very good mythic box. There we go! Force of Vigor! Get all that vigor. Okay. Thing's been hanging out around 30 bucks without flinching. And you will actually go on top now. Okay, next grouping. Jason, your next three packs. There might still be a mythic left. Let's find out. And lightning skeletal. There could be a second foil rare. Not that that's common to have happen, but it's possible. We could have a foil mythic. And we still have forces in play. The force, anyway. Mirrodin besieged. Okay. And last pack, Jason. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Talisman! Crashing footfalls. Solid rare. Not quite what we're looking to pull. It's going to put the Sunbaked Canyon back on top. Okay. Nathan! Your last three. Here we go. Oops. Get out of there. All right. And then we do have another mythic. We've got Kess, <laughs> Dissident Mage. Recently was reprinted in, uh, I forgot which commander deck that was. Was that Anello the Painter, I think it was? Okay, and Collector Oof. Solid pull. You can never get mad at the Oof. And we got a foil mob. All right, last pack, Nathan. So that is five mythics. If we're tracking at home, that's actually pretty big. Generous gift and force of virtue. Not the force we were looking for, but that is four forces already. Do we have a five force box? Are we, are we going to have the five force box? Wildcat, you are up next. Do you pull the last of the forces? I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. Ah, Marit Lodge's slumber. Okay, next. Come on. Come on, let's get him something. Let's get him something good. I don't want to put F's in the chat for you. Ah, cordial vampire. Uh, not, that, not that it's not a decent card, but... Uh, all right, here we go. Last pack. Okay, okay, slow roll. Nurturing Peatland. Okay, well, we got another Horizon Land, so that is... Is that four now? That is four Horizon Lands. Ah. It's hoping for a foil back there, but we did not. Well, you got a Nurturing Peatland. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleeve that just because. <laughs> just because. There we go. Okay. Damien, here we go. You, uh, you hamburglar, you. Ephemerate. And the Giver of Runes, which is always a solid rare pull. Okay. Next pack, Damien. Why right, we hit... 
I mean, obviously we shuffled the packs up with them, and those mythics came out early. Talisman of Hierarchy, Aria of Flame. Okay, no, nothing there. Okay, last pack for Damien, although you have definitely killed it. You have killed it. Generous Gift and Dead of Winter. And a Foil Glacial Revelation. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and put Urza on top because of personal preferences. There we go. Okay, Buck. Okay, so we've got six packs left, guys, and we can still pull The Last Horizon Land, Force of Will, uh, Prismatic Vista, got still a few other things. Um, Archmage's Charm, there's still some really good stuff potentially pulled here. Unsettled Mariner. Solid card. Not one of those ones I was listing off. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Next. Winds of Abandon. Okay. Once again, another one of those playable cards, but not what we're getting here at her. Getting at here. All right, last pack, Buck. Come on, let's make this one really count. Tells him to resilience, Fallen Shinobi. So you finish that round with like the solid cards that you're not necessarily looking for in a break, but kind of is what it is. Enrique, your last three packs. Can we do it? Can we pull the Force of Negation? Can we pull a uh, Prismatic Vista? Plague Engineer. Okay. We're kind of killing it on those not expensive but playable cards. Not quite what we're looking for, but there's another one. The Ice Fang. Ah! Ah, there we go. There we are. We did get a second foil rare. Archmage's... We got two awesome foil rares in this box. Oh, boy. That was that was a spicy, unexpected hit. And that is actually my last sleeve over here, too. So, any more sleeve stuff? Last pack, Enrique. Here we go. A two foil boxes. A two foil rare box. That's pretty sweet. All right, we're going to slow roll the last, last pack here. Okay, here we go. Lonely Sandbar. On Thin Ice. Good card. Once again, falls into that range of the other things, and that is going to be it for this box. Man, a foil Horizon Land, a foil Archmage's Charm. Um, Urza, Yawgmoth, Sword of Truth and Justice, and F's in the chat for Wildcat are needed. Thanks for watching, everybody. Till the next time we hopefully get to do a box like this. I appreciate it. Like, subscribe, comment. Till next time, bye.